During the winter in Finland, lakes get frozen and it's very exciting experience to walk on ice. It's quite popular entertainment among locals. We went for a walk, but many people use skates and sleds. I like walking on the lake. I feel so small and the shores are so far away, but still I feel rather safe, you know, the ice is really thick. Also, there is a pop-up cafe in the middle of the lake. We went there, we got some cacao and pastry. Well, the first question is that, uh, do you have cash? Yup. <laughs> Especially on weekend, I think this cafe doesn't have a lack of customers. No, no, I'm filming. <laughs> Let's go. And suddenly the sun came out to make our day even brighter. We decided to pass by the park to enjoy the walk a bit longer, since it is the weekend. home for lunch, a very simple apéro. We often eat fresh baguette with the fish spread when we are too tired to cook, like that day after a long walk on the lake. Melissa... Melissa receives her food too. I feed her three meals a day, plus some kibble between the meals, so we currently have a combo of meal feeding and free feeding. It works fine. After that she gets very playful. <laughs> now she has a favorite toy, a string with feathers. She can chase it like the whole day. looking for an apartment to buy. Whenever we see something suitable and interesting, we go to see the presentation. We are in the beginning of the process, so I don't expect to find that one home immediately, but we will continue looking for it and gather some knowledge about the market and just some experience.
So the other day we went to see one apartment. The area looked really friendly and um, the quality of renovation and layout were pretty good, but there was one thing that was a red light for us. No elevator. On top of that, the bathroom was rather small. Well, the old building. Accessibility of the apartment is an important criteria for us, so we will keep looking and one day we will find our happy place. After the quick burger lunch, we are heading home because I have some housework to do. Two years ago I invested in some good quality cashmere sweaters and I think it was a good decision to spend a bit more and get really nice, soft, um, timeless cashmere sweaters instead of changing the wardrobe every year. One thing about cashmere is that we don't want to wash it often. Instead I'm using one trick, I steam the sweaters and then I put them outside for a few minutes all my sweaters are from Kos and I'm really happy with them. They're just such beautiful colors and the really timeless silhouette. Just really an investment in a wardrobe. Steaming the sweaters helps to eliminate the smell and just keep them a bit more clean to refresh the sweaters. To eliminate the spools on sweaters, not only cashmere but any woolen sweater, I have this comb. It is especially good for soft fibers. It sort of shaves the sweater to remove the fiber. And then I have this spool cutting machine. It's really easy to use and it keeps your sweater in a really good condition. When the spools are really big, like here on my husband's sweater, I use those um, snaps just to carefully cut those excess fiber because I think that machine will get stuck on such big chunks of sweater. <laughs> I'm gonna make some lunches for the next couple of days to have them at work. Some chicken with pasta, which is really well reheatable. I'm just getting so tired of eating supermarket salads every day. So let's make some homemade food. Stand up and take it as I go. Stronger than ever. Faded is not a shame. Recently I've been watching the Project Runway, the Finnish version, and it's just so inspiring. And again, it pushes me to continue my clothes making hobby that I had two years ago. Of course, I'm not that skillful as the participants of the show, but 
you know, I can fix my husband's jacket, for example. <laughs> well, just needed to fix his button. it's time to say goodbye and I wish you a very good week and thank you for watching <laughs>